So I'll go ahead and start up and say, this is definitely more of an idea than anything right now. So I'll give you an idea of what I was thinking whenever I thought of this. You know, I was actually walking down the hall in school a few months ago, really, and realized that what happens every day right around the end of the semester is people who've been passing each other in the hall every single day either sell their book, either back to their class books, either sell them back to a bookstore, put them on Amazon, put them on half.com, and they end up making usually a half or a quarter of what they actually paid for it. Then somebody else who's been passing them the whole time goes onto those same places, uh, buys the book for full price. So what happens is one person ends up spending much more than they needed to, the other person ends up getting much less of their money back. What I wanted to see was a way to actually get people together and actually save money and give more money back. So what I've thought about more at this point really is the marketing strategy itself. Um, because at least the concept of selling books online, that's not new. Uh, Amazon does that, Half does that, Campus, uh, I think it's eCampus does that. So what really the idea here is, is to have something that students will be able to use, it'll be user friendly. Uh, and the idea here really is, instead of organizing things, uh, simply you search for a book or you search for a type of book, you would actually organize it by campus. So you would go in, say for example, you start with University of Kentucky, and then you have it divided into College of Arts and Sciences, College of Law, College of Medicine, College of Engineering, things like that. You can either go back and search the entire schools, each class and then the books used for that class, or what you can do is even uh, just say for the entire school itself. So what is every book used at the College of Law, and then you can use your own book list and search through it that way. Um, so like I, uh, and the idea here is that by, by going from kind of a smaller base, you can get people who are more responsive to each other's needs, who are more willing to work with each other, uh, while at the same time, in order to make sure that the company itself would make a profit on its own, uh, I've kind of looked at three different ways that would generate revenue. I've thought about just trying to do it where it would be just ads themselves, uh, and I don't think that that alone would really work. I think you'd have to come up with some sort of transaction-based way to actually raise money. Uh, the first one is really the traditional type. It's used by Amazon. It's per, per transaction is charged to seller. You uh, you say you want a fifteen. You sell a book for fifteen dollars. That money comes out of what you made from the book. As a matter of fact, Amazon right now charges three fees. They charge the fixed closing fee no matter what you're selling, ninety nine cents. They charge a variable closing fee of a dollar thirty five if you're selling books, and then they take a fifteen percent commission if you're selling books. Half dot com on the other hand. They just take a straight 15% commission from books. So if you were to do something right here in the first idea, you'd have to probably just reduce the rate, which I think is definitely doable, especially uh, from the Amazon method of charging three fees at once. Uh, the second would be a little more like an online flea market. This might actually give some, uh, people the ability to kind of open their own businesses or at least their own online stores um, it's more of a more of a pay once and then go. So you pay a fee either per month or per year, and then be able to post as much as you want and keep all the profits that you make. The downside of that is, you know, there's more of an upfront cost. The person's got to make a risk on their own. The third is per transaction cart charge to buyer. That way, the seller would automatically uh, have the amount of money that they want. So you put in fifteen dollars, they get fifteen dollars. We charge our commission and tack that to the end. That way you know exactly what you're getting, and the buyer just has the price up on the screen so they don't feel like they're actually having one, they're paying two things at once. It's just, it changes the price of the book. Uh, but there's no problem with at least supplementing with the online ads. Uh, as far as that goes, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them.